few things you have to know about functions that one they have something called parameters that could be any value it could, this could be one value whatever basically you call on a function it's going to jump to that location in the program and it's going to run the code there i could easily show you in the demonstration basically oh yeah by the way we could just include using namespace std so that we don't have to keep typing std colon colon c out over and over again create void demonstration function it has to be above main for now c out in demonstration function slash n i told you about that that could, that means print a new line so then you don't have to do less than less than endl basically this is the same thing that but let's just do slash n for now yeah in main slash n prints a new line we're going to print we're going to print in main new line then we're going to call demonstration function back in main slash n this is what the code is going to do we're going to print in main new line then we call demonstration function. It's going to jump to this location of the code and then it's going to go here and it's going to print in demonstration function. I'm actually going to take this using namespace and put it on the outside so then we don't have to keep keep doing std colon colon c out over and over again. Basically this function is going to go here in main print call this demonstration function jump over here and it's going to print in demonstration function new line go back into main going to print out back in main new line. Let's run the code. See in main in demonstration function back in main press any key to continue the reason why we have a void we don't want to return any value so now i'm going to give an example when we do want to return a value the reason in this case i just wanted to print out in demonstration function to tell you guys what happens inside the function i'm going to comment this out do slash star star slash put your code into comments so then you don't have to do this for now all your functions have to be above main so i'll tell you about return types so i'm going to create this function called add it's going to add two values first and second then it's going to print out values. First value is print first, new line. Second value is second, print a new line. Then I'm going to return first plus second. Here's what I'm going to do. In main, I'm going to have three values. In first, uh, in number one, number two, and then int result. Print into the console, print out the statement, type in first value, put a colon. CN number one. CN means read the value from the keyboard into number one yeah type in second value see in number two here's what i did i created number one number two and result these are all integer values they're all numbers i'm going to print out the statement type in first value cn means read in the first value from the keyboard store it into number one so number one now has that an integer value number that you type in the keyboard uh yeah i'm just going to print a new line after each time i'm going to do c out type in second value right read in the value read in the second value from the keyboard store into number two i'm going to print a new line just for readability sake now i'm going to call add function add basically it's going to jump into this function add first second now i'm going to pass in the first value number one and number two as a second value now it's going to return a number i want that number so because it's going to return first plus second but here's what i'm going to do get that number store it into result result now equals whatever number that was returned from add and what the number that was returned from add was first plus second here's here's what's going to do it's going to read a number from the keyboard and then it's going to return the sum of both of them the out result is and i'm going to just going to print out result and a new line now i'm back in main pause okay so here's what it's going to do where's the error it's funny oh you're not we don't have to keep doing it we could just do this you don't have to do type integer one number one two and result basically you could just do integer number one number two and result and all three value these values will now be are just integer values integer variables this should work now yeah okay so I'm in main, type in first value, let's do five. Now type in second value, six. You typed in the first value, so it printed out in main. It created three integer variables, number one, number two, and result. It's gonna print out the type in first value, that's what it did. Then I, I typed in a value five into the keyboard. I printed a new line. Now I typed in a value six into the keyboard. Type in value six, typed in the keyboard, printed a new line. Now I'm gonna call add, pass in the value five and six. Five is now in number one, six is in number two. Now I pass it in to add. Now five is in first and six is in second because I pass it in the order where it came. It has to be in the direct, exactly the same order. Otherwise it would, be, it would not be right. Now first has a value five, second has a value six. I print out va first value is five, print out second value is six. Then I return five plus six. Now five plus six is 11, I return the value 11. I go back into this and I store the result, which is five plus six, which is 11. And now I set results. Now the value of what, whatever was returned, which is five plus six, which is 11. So now res result is 11. I print out result is, and it prints out the value 11 now i'm back in main then i do pause so that i could press any that's basically what functions do uh you methods and functions are called the same they're basically the same methods some people just call them differently but yeah these values are printed and added can comments be nested yeah they can you could have two comments inside each other
All right, let's do these exercises. This time you guys pause the video, do them. I'm hoping you guys did these exercises. I'll do it with you right now. So write a program that writes, I love C++ to the console. Basically, C out, print I love C++, end L. Run it, end L. I love C++, prints that into the console. Second, write the smallest program that can be compiled. All you gotta do is just pretty much it. In fact, you don't even need to include, cause it just, uh, if you don't return any, it's not good if you don't return anything, but this is basically the smallest C++ program. You should always return something though. If it's in main, make sure you return something. Enter this program, compile it, why does it fail? How can you fix it? Basically, the reason why there's a problem is cause they don't have the double quotation marks. And this has to be a return value of int. Which is how all C++ programs are made. And that's it. Normally, you have to, you should return zero every time though, because the return type is an integer. <laughs> is there a bug here? Yep. Now include a subtract function. Name this function as subtract. Now this is your homework, guys. Do the subtract thing. And then instead of doing what I did for add, modify it to include the subtract function. This is now your homework. 